Hello student, the question says, a circular table is rotating with an angular velocity of omega radian per second about its axis. There is a smooth groove along a radial direction on the table. A steel ball is gently placed at a distance of 1 meter on the groove. All the surfaces are smooth. If the radius of the table is 3 meter, the radial velocity of the ball with respect to the table at the time ball leaves the table is x root to omega meter per second where the value is. The key point in this is the radial velocity of the ball with respect to the table. So I need velocity with respect to the table. So we know this is the given figure and the table is rotating with omega. Let us assume it is rotating with omega throughout the problem. So if it is rotating with omega throughout the problem, we know a rotating platform. So anything that is rotating is an accelerating platform. So basically, if, we, if any body is rotating, it implies that it is accelerating. Even a circular motion is also accelerated motion because it is not because the velocity magnitude is changing. It is because the direction of velocity is changing continuously. So all the rotating bodies are accelerating bodies only. So we can write, since this table is rotating continuously, so the direction of acceleration in the groove direction, like along this groove would be towards the center because it will be a centripetal acceleration or we can call it as a radial acceleration. Now listen to this. We have placed a body we have placed our small ball on a moving body. When you are on an accelerating body, whenever you place a body on an accelerating body, while trying to find the properties of the body that is placed on an accelerating body, we use something called non-inertial frame of reference. In non-inertial frame of reference, we find everything with respect to the other body. And whenever we solve the problems in non-inertial frame of reference, the acceleration of the platform is considered as a pseudo force on this body. This might look slightly confusing. I'll sli explain it a little bit. Suppose a simple example could be, suppose I have a platform and we have a body of mass m here. And this platform is accelerating with A. This entire platform, this big platform is accelerating in this way with A. So this is going in this way with acceleration A. Now I want to analyze the acceleration of small m with respect to with respect to this incline. If I need to do that, while I draw the free body diagram of small m, imagine this is a smooth incline. I will write mg. I will draw normal reaction in this way. I will consider this acceleration of the incline also as a force called pseudo force and the direction of that pseudo force would be opposite to the direction of the acceleration of the platform. So this force is called as pseudo force. So whenever you try to find things with respect to an accelerating platform, we convert the acceleration of the platform into a force known as pseudo force. I hope you understood this. this is a, if I start explaining what is pseudo force in detail, this would be a lengthy video. Hopefully, you understood till this point. If there is any body placed on an accelerating body while drawing the free body diagram of that body with respect to the incline, we will convert the acceleration of the platform into a force known as pseudo force. So we have MA in this direction, MG in this direction, N in this direction. Then it might get acceleration. We will write acceleration of this small m, let it be a1 with respect to incline, we use our NLM methods to solve the problem. In the same way, in the question he is clearly asking us, find the radial velocity of the ball with respect to the table. This is the keyword. Since I want everything with respect to the table, I will convert the acceleration of this platform that is our table as a force when I draw the free body diagram for this. Now let me draw the free body diagram for this small ball. So we have a groove in this way and we have our body that is placed here. Now when I draw free body diagram for this, we will get mg downwards and normal reaction upward. So this might look a little bit confusion how mg is downward. You should think that this is a groove. Okay. So since it's a groove and our ball is placed 
in this way so it is at, at, attached to the ground so we have mg downwards and normal reaction upwards so we have this mg downwards and because of the surface we get a normal reaction upwards and as i already told you whatever is the acceleration of the platform it will become a force so it will become a pseudo force ma in this direction so this is the net uh, value of this now we can say this ma will make this ball start to move in this direction let m be the mass of this ball it will make it n would be equal to mg we can write ma let us assume the acceleration of the ball is a1 in this case since there is no other force m into a1 so a1 would simply become the acceleration of the ball also i hope till this point it is clear because this is the very key point in solving the problem whenever we solve we draw free body diagrams of a body placed on a moving body or an accelerating body we will convert the acceleration of the platform into a force known as pseudo force whose direction is opposite to the direction of this and it is not necessary that every time acceleration of the ball must be equal to acceleration of the platform but in this case it happened like that now let us substitute the values we know in circular motion we got a1 equals to a and this platform let us consider a distance x from the platform consider a small point at a distance x from this we know ea equals to omega square into x since a is omega square into x i can write a1 is also equals to omega square into x once we know a is equals to omega square into x we can in place of this we can simply write i think you know it in circular motion this is also equals to v square by x also anything is fine acceleration in circular motion radial acceleration equals to either v square by x or omega square into x so a1 is omega square into x now the acceleration of this ball can be written as in place of acceleration we can write v dv by dx which is equals to omega square into x this is another way to write the acceleration how the acceleration changes with distance we know acceleration has two formulas one is dv by dt another formula for acceleration is v dv by dx if acceleration is in terms of displacement we use this formula if acceleration is in terms of time we use this formula so in place of acceleration i will use v dv by dx equals to omega square into x from here onwards rest of it is basic integration only so take this dx to the other side integrate on the left side and right side so when i integrate on the left side and right side originally it is it is placed here so initial velocity is zero final velocity is v and originally it is at a distance of 1 meter and final distance by the time it just leaves the table by the time it leaves the table the final distance would be 3 now let us substitute that we will get v square by 2 and the limits are 0 to v equals to omega square x square by 2. so omega square would come outside integral x dx would be x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 so the limits are 1 2 3 so v square by 2 minus 0 equals to omega square into x square by 2 the limits are 1 2 3 so we'll get v square by 2 Equals to omega square into three threes are nine minus one square it would be one divided by two. I can cancel these two on the left side and right side. So finally, the velocity, the radial velocity of the ball while leaving would be root of eight omega square. So root of eight omega square would become two root two into omega. Now the other is saying, if you look at the question, the other is saying which is equals to x root two into omega. So if we equate this to x root two into omega, so we will simply get the value of x is equals to two. I hope you understood how I have solved. But the most important keywords in solving this problem is: if the radius of table is three meter, the radial velocity of the ball 
with respect to table is what we want since we want with respect to the table we will use non inertial frame of reference what is this non inertial frame of reference we simply convert the acceleration of the platform into a force called as pseudo force and we solve the problem like a normal free body diagram problem only and in this case it's a coincidence that this, this pseudo force mba is the only force in x direction why because it is very smooth there is no friction in y direction mg is anyway balanced by normal reaction which is irrelevant for this problem so the only force in x direction is ma so ma is ma1 and we have substituted the value of a because in a rotating body the acceleration depends on the distance x so in place of a i wrote omega square into x so in place of a1 we wrote v dv by dx and substituted everything and integrated the uh, left side and right side don't be confused with this v and this v okay this might create an unnecessary confusion so a equals to omega square x a is v dv by dx substituted everything carefully integrated and finally we got the answer hope you understood how i have solved thank you